keep trying to beat your own record, you know. I was mentioning this racetrack uh, about 19,000 years ago, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. The Marcab Confederacy they had a racetrack. And you were probably there. And uh, you either have attended its races or had something to do with it, because you find it on most cases. There's one 1216 B.C. that shows up on any case, the Brotherhood of the Snake. 1216 B.C., it shows up on any case. Well, evidently this other one is the same breed of cat. Almost anybody going through the Marcab Confederacy sooner or later got mixed up with the racetracks. They had turbine-generated cars. It went about 275 miles an hour. They ran with a high whine. I noticed they just now invented the motor again. And they had tracks that were booby-trapped with atom bombs, and uh, they had side bypasses. The tracks were mined, and the grandstands were leaded paint. And the audience, it's got to be kind of a no audience. You never could see the audience. And, uh, oh, they had loose sand sections, and uh, they had slick oil asphalt, and they had ice sections, and loose gravel, any kind of hazard you could think of, a mountain that it went up to the top of and fell off, you know. <laughs> and uh, just, there was just more drivers killed. There was more blood pouring on that track, you see, all the time. I mean, it was always moved up. Ten, twelve thousand years, this was the favorite sport of the Marcab Confederacy, apparently. If I'm re-stimulating you, okay. <laughs> uh not done intentionally. You run into this sooner or later. You wonder, you've probably often wondered what that needle-like pinging was in the back of your neck. Well, you probably wound up on the track sometime or another as a driver or something. Because so. nearly everybody, when he wanted to go to the devil, went to this track <laughs> and became some part of its operating personnel because it was the fastest ticket out in a society which absolutely insisted that you live. The Marcab Confederacy's medicine was so excellent that an individual just couldn't die out of it, that was all. They would drag you back and fit an arm on, fit a leg on, fit a nose on, fit an eye, and they could give you artificial voices and artificial vision and artificial digestion and artificial everything else. <laughs> the next thing you know, there wasn't even an original part left including you, you know what I'm but there was always a road out, you know. You could, if there was too much peace and you couldn't go to war and get yourself killed, you could always get involved with something like the racetrack. And that was a sure ticket out. Well, one of these things of a repeating identity. This happened to me over the course of quite a while. I'd be doing something constructive and so forth, and I'd go play hooky. Or I'd get tired of that particular body or setup. I'd go play hooky. Wind up down the racetrack driving a car, you know. Just this hooky, you know. This was a rough thing to do on people because it was awful hard on their equipment. And just uh, go in there and be the silver streak, you know. The silver streak. You know, so many laps in so many seconds, you know. Track record. Track record. I'd get bored with it and do what I went down there to do anyhow, work it out in such a way that it really wasn't my fault for knocking myself off. You see. <laughs> Take one of these cars and wham it <laughs> into the grandstand or some such place. See, that'd be the end of that body, and nobody could argue with it. See, medical science could do nothing after that. <laughs> <laughs> Go pick up another body or a doll or something like that and go on about my business and carry out the mission. But uh, <laughs> after a while, this got rather bad because uh, come down the track and there would be the Red Comet, see, driving around. Get to walking in and out of the lobby. I see this picture here of the Silver Streak. I'd look at this track record, so and so, so and so, so and so. Eh, who's this guy? You know? 
It's all before I used the track for the purpose it was intended, which was knocking <laughs> off a mock-up. I'd get in there and, you know, and manage to take a minute off of that time, you see. Managed to take uh, this many laps off as the total endurance record. Well, they had races there to go for two weeks. You'd be driving for two weeks. They just keep doping you up. Needles hitting you in the back of your neck, you know, and giving you new jolts. This is space opera. This is what this planet's in for. I mean, boy. And uh, knock it off, you know. I remember I got tired one time. did have one overt act on the track. It was real bad. I got tired of wondering whether or not there really was an audience back of those leaded panes. Took one of those tracks, cars, turned it at right angles, and threw it through one of the windows. There was an audience there. <laughs> so anyhow, a few lifetimes later, why, things would be going along pretty good, and the mock-up would be all patched up, and I'd think I was due for a new issue or something like that, and I'd wind up down at the racetrack. Total nom de plume, identity, my own identity, totally masked, you know, and go in there as the... The green rocket! <laughs> and this is the green rocket, you know, me going... You know, that sort of thing. One day walking through the lobby, red comet. <laughs> the silver streak. Yeah, who are these bums? Track record, so-and-so and so-and-so, and, so and leap six cars. <laughs> and the green rocket, of course, would get a picture, posthumously. <laughs> One of the great drivers of all time would leap seven cars and had taken eight minutes off the track record, you see? I think a course of about 2,500 years, there were an awful lot of pictures in there, but I had about 16 of them. <laughs> I just keep going back and beating my own records. Mm -hmm. I finally just be exhausted, you know? you know. The green rocket, the red comet, the silver streak, you know. The, the gold bomb. Yeah. Oh, you know. How in the name? Because you see, the equipment for 11, 12,000 years never changed one iota. Nothing was ever bettered. It was just ability. <laughs> you see? Be pure, raw ability. As a matter of fact, equipment was getting a little bit worse. <laughs> and always beating your own record. You get down to a point, finally, where it isn't possible. You just have to give up. Well, who defeated you? Ha, 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 